Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here with my brand new video touring the 2016 Comic Con Convention Center. We're gonna pretty much tour around the whole place. We're gonna, you know, show the floor, we're gonna show some of the things for sale, show the autograph area, you know, show where the panels are, and maybe even show some of the stuff outside of the convention as well. It's very hot, but I'm gonna try and show some of the stuff that's outside as well, because a lot of other things you can see out here. But now we're coming up to the front of the convention center. As you can see, there's a huge line of people. This is where everybody's first going in, and it's, you know, really gets super jammed up in here, but we're going to head on inside and see the things we can see and the tour of the San Diego Comic Con convention. And now we're at the front and they have a brand new thing now where you actually have to scan these badges in. Before, you used to just kind of have a pass like this and that was it. You just, you know, showed your pass. Now you actually have to scan this like a, a barcode on this thing to actually get inside. It seems like a better way so people can't have fakes and stuff like that because people would always kind of fake the actual one that was just a paper ticket kind of thing. Well, we're now inside the convention building. If you go down that way, you can actually go into the floor where they have the dealer's room, where you can buy things, where they have the booths for the uh, different studios and stuff like that. We're going to go in there in a little bit, but first we're going to head up the escalators and go upstairs to where they have the autograph area and a lot of the panels. There's also some panels as well downstairs and across uh, in some of the hotel buildings as well. But first though, let's head up the escalators and go to the autograph room. Well, here we are now inside the autograph pavilion, and you know, this is I, I always when I do these tour videos, for some reason, I always start them in this area. But up here, they have a whole bunch of different people who sign up here. It's usually like the same people I've seen here for years who sign. You know, somehow they always come back all the time, so you see these people all the time here. But they also have signings here as well, which are like group signings and things like that, where uh, you know you have to get tickets early in the morning to get in line for these things, and they have things for TV shows and that kind of stuff. They also have a lot of signings downstairs as well. On the sales floor at the booths like the Fox booth would have signings for Scream Queens and stuff like that but up in here they have like some group signings selective ones and then the people who are here a lot of the times I've seen a whole lot of times throughout the years and those people are here like usually uh, every day or every other day and things like that for certain hours one of the other things up in this room too is the freebies table which I always look at I have a bunch of pamphlets for things that are coming out ads for websites comic books sometimes they have free posters thing there all kinds of different stuff you can look at on the freebies table a lot of times it's like you know maybe like 13 or 14 items and it's like the same ones throughout the entire table so it's not a whole table of all different things it's usually like the same you know, 15 something like things strewn throughout the entire table all the way around the whole thing. One of the other things up here is this is one of the areas where people can actually sit down because there's not tons of seats at the convention. You're going to notice throughout the convention you see tons of people sitting all around the floor, all over the place. That's the one thing you always see is lots of people sitting all around the floor, laying down, falling asleep. But up here is one of the few areas, besides a few other spots down on the actual convention floor, like the dealer's room, where there actually is some tables. But up here, this is the area I always remember sitting at when you needed to have a, a sit down up here and usually out there you would get like a pretzel or, or a hot dog or something you know or a cookie that's pretty much all they have here main food that you always see is pretzels hot dogs and cookies pretty much i think i think hot dogs but i know pretzels and cookies now I'm going to take a look at some of the panel areas. These are the areas where you can go. It's like in the ballrooms, and like I said too, there's some that are also in hotel rooms, but there's different rooms upstairs as well as downstairs. You can actually go to different kind of panels on certain types of events, on TV shows and all that kind of stuff. Usually though for the panels, you have to get in line very early, sometimes hours before, and sometimes for the really big ones, people even line up the night before, but now I couldn't imagine doing that because it is so hot out right now. It's like 93, something like that, which is really warm and the sun is real strong, but as you can see though there's all kind of different rooms here different kind of areas where people are waiting you know to go into all these different types of panels for different types of events and they have up on the wall here a schedule you can look at you also can get a book of this as well it shows you all the different panels and where they are in the rooms and certain times that they are as well as the autograph area and who's in what area each time so you can always come to this area too to look at that kind of thing if you're interested in the, any of the panels or the autograph. So we're now going to head on downstairs to the main convention floor, which is basically where it's the dealer's room, where they have um, some of the other autograph signings, where they sell all the different uh, exclusives, the Funko Pops, all that kind of stuff down there. So we're going to head on down there and explore the convention floor. Well, now here we are on the main floor of the convention center. So we're going to go around here and explore all the stuff. I think we're going to go to first to the, the studios area where it's Fox, Warner Brothers, Lionsgate, Stars, and look at all the stuff that's over there and see what kind of stuff they're giving away and the free posters and all that kind of stuff over that direction. 
Now we're in the area where all the different studio booths are, like the Lionsgate booth where they're promoting the upcoming film, Nerve, and then the upcoming Power Rangers movie, the new film. They have the helmets for the film out here. They also have the Warner Brothers booth here. Uh, they have, you know, they're all giving out posters and upcoming freebies and all that kind of stuff for upcoming films and TV shows. And the Fox booth as well, a booth here for stars, a booth here for Anchor Bay. So all these different ones, you basically just come around here and look for the free stuff they have. But usually, there's certain times where they're giving out the freebies, other times they're not. Other times, too, they have really big, long lines for things. Uh, when I was here on preview night, it was much easier to get the stuff. But now, as you can see, it's even busier than ever. So it's very difficult to get some of the stuff. And some of the stuff, you have to be there at certain specific times to get. Like, the MTV booth has, like, chairs you can get and, like, free, like, blow up balloons, all kinds of weird different stuff, like, all random things. But it's always the kind of stuff, too, like I always say, you see tonight or the next night on eBay, people are flipping for huge prices. Same with all the things here that are signing are all up on eBay as well, you know, with these high prices. And now the Lionsgate booth, you can see the cast of brand new Power Rangers movie signing the posters for the film. Those are the kind of things you can see when you come out here, like cast signings like this. But a lot of these things, you have to have tickets ahead of time to get them. Now over here now is the cast of the brand new Exorcist TV series over here. So that's very cool. Like you said, you, know, you never know who you're gonna see coming out here. We just saw the Power Rangers, now the cast of the new Exorcist show. One thing you find this year too is a lot of photo ops, some really cool photo ops like at the Nickelodeon booth. They have a different one where you can get like the thing with the character from Legends of the Hidden Temple, one with the big nose from Double Dare, the one you'd reach into and grab the flag out of. A bunch of different ones, so it's pretty cool to see all the different photo ops this year here. One of the new things they're doing here is a lot of virtual reality. Like they have a virtual reality thing, I think for Teen Wolf, something like that with the MTV booth, and a virtual reality uh, Conan O'Brien where you can put on Conan O'Brien's head and then you see something in Conan O'Brien's world. Who knows what it is? Probably his desk or something. I don't know, looking at a guest or something. I don't know. Now let's go around and look at some of the toys that are for sale here. Some of the main booths here, like the Funko Pop, Sideshow, some of those other ones, and show some of the different cool upcoming things and some of the things you can buy here at the convention. One of the most popular booths here is the Funko Pop booth. This one, or the Funko booth, is always one of the most popular one, and it's always the one that's the most picked over. See, the line always caps off for this, and then they have, like, sometimes they say, don't come back here for another two hours or an hour or something, because the line's already closed off because it's so busy. But this one, ever since I've been coming here, has always been the top busiest thing here at the convention. And over here at the Bandai booth, you can see some of the toys from the upcoming Power Rangers movie that comes out next year, which is going to be, you know, the Power Rangers, you know, brand new film. Also, you can see some of the toys of, like, the retro original series of Power Rangers, the one that I always remembered watching and then some of the uh, you know variations of one throughout the years so were pretty cool ones to see this stuff and you see a lot of different booths here like this for stuff that's coming out in the future and over here at the men's club booth they have some upcoming living dead dolls which are all horror themed ones they have one of Beetlejuice uh, one of Sam from uh, Trick or Treat Ash Pinhead, one of the zombies, or two of the zombies from Dawn of the Dead. These are actually some pretty cool looking ones that are coming out. I really like though the Beetlejuice one. That's a very cool one, especially this Beetlejuice down here, one of the other Mezco toys. They even have an Annabelle doll down here. And they have a Hellraiser figure over here, and this Hellraiser like kind of plush doll. Another Beetlejuice, they have a lot of different Beetlejuice toys here. And then like these little mini Beetlejuices, and this really crazy looking Beetlejuice doll. At the Gentle Giant booth, they have a bunch of uh, upcoming, you know, Star Wars figures from the new films, a BB-8 one over here, a bunch of different ones. This one, of, uh, you know, Akbar, Akbar, I never can say the name right, but I always love this character, though, and the actor who did it's just passed away recently, a Darth Vader one. So some pretty cool ones over here. And these ones are done like the old school style. Like I remember, in, like I think in like the 90s, I had ones that looked like this too. Like, especially like the Superman and Batman one, I really remember. These are done in kind of that real 90s style look to them. Over here at the NECA booth, they have this really cool one. This is like one of those exclusive ones for uh, the, the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure collection uh, Blu-ray set from Shout Factory. And there's these uh, ones of you know Chevy Chase and Christmas Vacation. And that one of Alex Winter, you know, from Bill and Ted is very cool. And I really love, you know, Keanu Reeves as well. I really love the Chop Top one here as well. Some very cool ones coming out. I'm not sure when these ones release, but these are ones I'm definitely going to get some of these ones, especially these Bill and Ted ones and the Chop Top one is so cool. And down here in the Lego area, you can make your own designs and put them up on the wall. All kinds of different stuff here. Like someone says Italy, and I don't know what, what, Papa Johnny's or Papa John's. I guess they're a big fan of Papa John's over there. Pokemon, you know, there's Pikachu, I, you know, he's been found. And they even have stuff over here, make your own Lego stuff like that. You know, it seems like they only, only like the one color, yellow and purple, of these make your own Lego stuff over here. But there's a whole bunch of make your own Lego creations over here. 
One thing I don't know about that Lego thing is if you're allowed to take the Legos you made with you or you have to put them back. That's a good question. Now let's take a look at some of the stuff in the Sideshow booth. Their stuff has super amazing detail though. Some really cool stuff here. Look at this R2-D2 someone made as the Tar Man from the Return Living Dead. That's a very cool, these are all ones that people have kind of made as like one of Oscar the Grouch, one of Waldo, oh, one of a Ninja Just Turtle. These are very cool ones that people have made. Alice, you know, Wizard of Oz. And here's some of the cool new Suicide Squad toys over here. The, uh, the Batman from Suicide Squad. And this one of Jared Leto, the Joker one. Really great detail on that one. All the stuff in this booth are super high, you know, quality detail on these ones, like the Doc Brown and Marty one. Really cool one. These ones are always super expensive ones. Yeah, see, they're around like $280. And it's like of, uh, you know, Chewbacca and Harrison Ford, C-3PO. Here's some from Captain America Civil War, the last movie. Like I said, the detail on these ones are amazing. Now here on the convention floor, it's not just, you know, the places where you can get free posters with Warner Brothers and Fox and all that kind of stuff, and then the booths where it's like, uh, you know, Bandai and uh, Funko and all that kind of stuff. There's actually areas too where people are here selling retro toys and they're selling uh, comic books. Yes, there are comic books. Comic books have kind of taken a back seat here at Comic-Con. You know, it used to be all about comic books. Now it's way more, as you can see, pop culture and all that kind of stuff, movie and film and TV related. But there are, you know, as you can find, still some comic Comic books, a lot of retro toys, some retro games, and there's also an area where it's actually video games as well. So we're gonna head over to the video game area now, see the kind of stuff they have over there. So we're now in the video game area, and they have a lot of different games you can play here for new and upcoming games. They have an area here for Resident Evil, which is really busy. They're out of tickets, but like of a cool haunted house for Resident Evil. They have, you know, you can try uh, Dead Rising with the new Dead Rising games. You can try the game Splatoon. Uh, Blizzard has an area around here. But so if you guys are gamers too they have a huge section here all about games and all kinds of new and upcoming games that are coming out in the future or you can get right now now we took a good look at all the different things you'd see inside of the actual convention center walked all around show all, all the different kind of stuff now let's head on outside yes it's very hot outside let's head outside and see the kind of stuff that's out there there's one thing I really want to see for mr. robot so we'll see if we can find it out there I think it's at Petco Park a little ways down so let's check that out I said the Sun out here is an intense so you really don't want to be out here too long and I'm one of those kind of people that is like weird with the sun like my hands get all red and everything so it's kind of like you got to get past this and get in I really should be carrying around an umbrella I could, I could say I'm cosplaying you know as the penguin and carry around an umbrella and this area out here is pretty cool they have all kinds of stuff and they actually aren't even checking badges you know for this area so I think this is one of those kind of areas that anyone can come to they have areas out here where they can pie you in the face they have a ferris wheel they have all kinds of stuff a Conan O'Brien thing for Snickers uh, Walking Dead thing for Jack in the Box all kinds of different stuff but I'm gonna go try and find the Mr. Robot thing now because it is hot out here Well, I cannot figure out how to get into this thing, and it sounds like it's a Mr. Robot virtual reality thing. I thought it was probably some of the sets or something. It may be a not to say I did thing, because I can't figure out how to get in. So that's all for my video touring around the San Diego Comic Convention Center, showing all around the convention, autograph area, the sales floor, people who are signing autographs, all that kind of stuff. Thanks again, guys, for watching and subscribing. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.